Good afternoon, Holt High School. It's Mr. Case coming to you from the North Campus of Holt High School. It's Friday, October 8th, 2021. October is college month, so attention seniors. See the class of 22 Google Classroom for details on how to sign up for the opportunities Ms. Huckel and Ms. Schaaf have for you this month. The virtual college and career fair is coming up October 20th from 6 to 8 p.m. That is virtual. Uh, you can sign up to participate. It's open to all students, all grade levels, 9 through 12. Even junior high families can attend if they'd like. There will be a link coming from Ms. Huckel in, in the near future. The whole early college has some information here. Attention 10th grade students. Does the thought of starting college early appeal to you? Has your work in Zello been leading you down a path that will require a college degree? Well, good news. Hope High School is proud to offer students an early college program within our own high school. The Holt early college application window is now open. There was an email from Mr. Schrauben that went home on October 5th that includes a video overview, students' videos, and local media coverage on our early college program. Please review that email. If you'd like to apply, you can pick up a paper application in the counseling office at the main campus or use a digital copy that's in the email from Mr. Schrauben. Applications are due November 10th with a mandatory parent meeting on November 11th. Go Holt Rams! Holt GSA meets every other Thursday in South 118 from 245 to 345. The next meeting is Thursday, October 21st. Class shirts, we're having a class t-shirt design competition. Please see your school email for an email from Ms. Schweitzer about submitting a class t-shirt design before October 19th. Senior shirts, Mr. Dowling is sending the link to vote for the senior shirt design. Voting ends on October 31st. Here we are now at the Students of the Week. Our first student is Cooper Benson, nominated by Gretchen Gibbs. Ms. Gibbs said, Cooper is always eager to participate in class. He has great energy and is also very kind to his classmates. Sophomore Gabriella Horton, nominated by Mrs. Lisa Chapin. Ms. Chapin said, Gabriella has shown great improvement in academics and is always willing to help others. She is proud of her accomplishments and takes pride in her academics. Congratulations, Gabriella. Sophomore Kavi Kavanaugh. Nominated by Mrs. Hayes Murray. Mrs. Hayes Murray said, Kavi is such a kind, creative, and hardworking individual. Their self-portrait was one of the most detailed, thoughtful, and well done out of the ones I graded. I also appreciate the creative, free write poem they did and how they took a seemingly random object and developed a poem that explored it in a deep way. Finally, I appreciate how empathetic Kavi is, especially to those who are typically ignored. Kavi isn't a great, just a great student. They are a fantastic human being. Congratulations, Kavi. And senior Allison Bureau, nominated by Mrs. Abdullah. Ms. Abdullah said, I am so proud of Allie's responsibility and hard work this year. Congratulations, students. Be sure to stop by Ms. Silvestro's office to pick up the rewards for being students of the week. Our staff members of the week. Mr. Stephen Potter teaches Earth Science Intro to Engineering and Design and 3D Printing and Engineering. He was nominated by Isaiah Maloney. Isaiah said, I just really like him as a teacher. He's really fun and really cool. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. Mrs. Aaron Quinn teaches Biology, Earth, and Environmental Science, nominated by Hayden Massey. Hayden said, Mrs. Quinn has helped me out so much already this year. She has gone out of her way to not only help me with her class, but help me in my other classes too. She makes me feel so welcomed in her class, and I have learned so much already. Science has always been my least favorite class, but this year it's my favorite. Thanks, Mrs. Quinn. You're the best. Congratulations, Mrs. Quinn. And Mrs. Erin Umstead, Speaking and English, nominated by Amari Johns. Amari Johns said, She's a very positive person and goes out of her way to make sure you feel appreciated and loved appropriately. Congratulations, Ms. Sumstead. If you want to nominate a staff member of the week, please take time to use the Google link found in our email so that we can honor those staff members that deserve all your appreciation. 
Those are announcements for the day. I hope everyone has a wonderful fall break. We'll see you back here on October 18th. Go Rams!